Do you know what a decorator design pattern is about? If you are calling some method, then the decorator is the object that makes that call, but also does something before and after it. The decorator lets you modify the original behavior, but without having to modify its class. Single responsibility principle, open closed principle, risk of substitution principle, all the good guys of object oriented design are there behind that simple yet powerful idea. Let me now show you how it works in some real code. Here is one deceptively simple example, a razor page which is displaying the price of some item on the website. But there are discounts that apply to that item and this object discount, when its method is invoked, can produce zero, one or multiple lines that should also be displayed on the page. It is driven by this discount interface and its get discount amounts is the important method. It hides great complexity behind. Let me show you, there are several design patterns implemented behind this interface. The null object pattern implementation, if there are no discounts applicable to the item, then just inject this one, it will return nothing. Or the relative discount, which always applies, it is generating a single line in the report. These were the two implementations, let's call them regular ones, but then there are some more complex ones. Here is some true complexity hiding here. This class is implementing the composite design pattern. It is hiding multiple objects behind a single composite object. It applies multiple discounts to the same price, but every discount is applied to to what remains after the previous one is applied. So there is some true complexity here. If you wonder how composite design pattern works with other patterns and other implementations of the, the interface, then you can watch the previous video where I have explained that. I have developed this class there. But there is one very specific line of code here. I want to draw your attention to this line because you will see we will need to implement the decorator to fix it. The composite discount quits when the sum of all discounts it has applied reaches the original price, that is when the remaining price drops to zero. But wait a minute, why didn't relative discount also quit when the price is zero? It would still produce a single line in the output saying that there is the discount which is zero. That is strange. The site shouldn't work that way. And the same thing in the title prefix discount as well. It will also produce a single line in the output even when the input price is zero. Now, we could fix the problem we have just found by adding a guard. If the price is zero, then quit early. This is a proper fix. And the same fix in the other implementation of the interface. It looks like I have just plugged the hole. But I don't feel fine with this. This is the clear case of code duplication. The logic duplication, which is worse. Code duplication, well, we tolerate it all the time. All for each loops are duplicated, but they are not duplicating the logic, so we cannot replace them with a class which does for each for us. But here, this is the logic duplication. These free classes are doing exactly the same thing. Composite class also has it here. Every concrete discount will have this guard someplace in its implementation. That is wrong. And that is one of the reasons to choose, for example, to implement a decorator. We want to add a responsibility to every implementation of the discount interface so that no concrete object ever produces a discount amount which is equal to zero, there should be a class that removes zero discounts. It will implement the decorator design pattern, even though that fact doesn't uh, reflect on its name. Every decorator normally wraps a single object implementing the same interface as it does. And it will intercept the calls 
and act before and or after them. Here comes the important method, calculating the discounted amounts. Well, that will be interesting. The decorator will let the other discount do its magic, whatever it does, it's fine. But then it will walk through the results and remove each one which is zero. Whatever the original discount does, it will still be done but only with no zero amounts in its output. It will be safe. Here is the immediate result of having this class in the system, in, in the design. We don't need this line anymore. We will delegate this logic to some other object and this object will never have to bother with that additional requirement that the zeros should not appear in the output. The other implementation, and we don't need this guard anymore, and yet another, and we don't need the guard there either. You see, all three implementations we have at this moment have become a tad simpler. However, the work is not done yet. We do have this operation implemented somewhere, but we are not executing it. We need the runtime version of these objects that is behaving safely. Before I complete the object model in this application so that the application works correctly again, let me ask you for a favor. If you liked this video so far, then please press the like button right now. Thank you very much. And if you wish to see the source code and to download it, the source code of this demo, then let me tell you that the source code is available to sponsors. So become the sponsor. There is the link. Uh, to my Patreon page in the description, become the sponsor, download the source code from this video and all other videos on my channel. Thank you very much. Let's complete the application now. Even though we do have the classes in the source code, we don't have the objects at runtime that will execute the operations correctly. That is where the composition comes to the table. This is the composition root of the application. I will configure discounts here. Right now it says that there is a 15% uh, discount on books with a certain title prefix and then 10% discount applied to all books. These two discounts are chained. What is missing is removing zero discounts from their results. So we have to wrap the resulting discount object into the decorator which will change its output to meet the requirements. And then we have it, the decorator applied to the composite, applied to individual objects at runtime. This is how you use the decorator design pattern to improve your design you will not add multiple responsibilities to classes, but instead wrap their objects into the decorator object, which will modify the operation and make it complete according to the requirements. I hope you learned something new about the decorator design pattern from this demo. Again, become the sponsor, download the source code and read what I have done here. I'm sure you will like this implementation better than the one from the beginning of this video. Thank you for staying till the very end and see you in the next episode.